Hello again. My name is Cord Sangsteak. I'm a design engineer here at Sheldon Manufacturing. Today, I'm going to be introducing Shell Lab's SVAC series of vacuum ovens. These products are built for delicate drying, moisture removal, and heat sensitive applications, making them a game changer for life science research, material science, and industrial professions who demand controlled, contamination free drying, curing, and processing. Located on the left, you will see the SVAC 4, and on the right, the SVAC 2. These units are identical outside of the capacity, with this one featuring two cubic feet, this one four. Now, let's take a look inside the units. The first thing you will notice is the unique double glass door construction. Uh, similar to double pane windows, this provides an excellent insulation between the inside and outside atmospheres. Additionally, you will find ample space in both for the three included shelves. Now, let's take a moment to look at some of the features located on the back of these units. The first thing that you will see is the main power inlet. Located in the bottom right, this is where you connect your unit to power. Both of these units are included with a power cord. Um, this must be connected to a properly grounded electrical outlet. For information uh, related to further electrical safety, as well as installation requirements related to uh, clearances, please visit your user manual. Located to the left of the power inlet are two fuse drawers. These are externally located, uh, meant, meant for you to easily replace the fuses if you need to. Moving over, you will find a digital communications port. Uh, this is to allow you to data log. Located above, you will find the vent and the vacuum tubes. The vacuum tube is where you connect your externally located vacuum supply, and the vent is, uh, allows you to back flush um, either with ambient atmosphere or your own special gas supply to the inside of the chamber. More on how these work in a moment when we discuss the control panel. Additionally, you will find a fan that's used to circulate air for the electronic components of the unit to help keep them cool. And lastly, you'll find a KF25 flange um, that you are able to mount anything you want to it. Um, many of our customers like to use cable pass-throughs as well as uh, additional data logging functions through this port. After connecting to a properly grounded outlet, the unit is ready to be powered on. The first thing you will notice is our new Watt Low PM9 Plus digital control. This will allow the user to uh, monitor and set the temperature within the unit. For details on how to use and program these Wattlow PM9 Pluses, please reference our website for an instructional video. Additionally, you will see the vacuum gauge. This provides the, a reading of the pressure within the chamber uh, and allows you to monitor the progress of the vacuum. Here's the vacuum knob. This opens a valve uh, to your externally located vacuum supply. Similarly, you'll find the vent valve knob. This allows you to open the, the vent. When it comes to precision drying, degassing, curing, and processing of sensitive materials, our SVAC vacuum oven series stands out as the industry leader. These vacuum ovens are designed for research labs, industrial applications, in production environments that require uniform, contamination-free drying and processing. Whether you're working in biotechnology, aerospace, nanotechnology, or electronics manufacturing, these ovens ensure controlled and repeatable conditions for critical processes.